first. Intellify That's the key features of Intellify Manage on its own. So it is a system optimized at the administration of physical layer <coughs> infrastructure. It's a system which is very flexible. So we cannot only handle one room or one building, we can handle through multi-site installations. Several buildings, several sites, all handled by the same database. We can also do outside plans plus inside plan attacks. If you don't want to run a dedicated server for Interleaf and Manage, we also have the possibility to just offer you the software as a service on a cloud-based server over the internet. So you don't run your own server, you don't have to invest in buying hardware, you don't have to power the server, you don't have to back up the server. This is all done by our cloud provider and you just can access your private virtual server over the internet. So we provide open interfaces to exchange data in these server systems. We can read the switching tables of switches. We can get inventory information from an asset management system into our system and offer a fully integrated solution like this. Couple of screenshots just to see the functions. You will see some of them also in my demonstration, but not all. So this is how we can generate network drawings. We can put maps in the background. If we have a GIS server which gives us live maps, such as OpenStreetMap or Google Maps, we can also put a network on an actual map. We know the dimensions, so we can plan networks, and our identify manager still calculates the length and the amount of cables which are required. Within rooms, we can have these kind of background drawings given the architecture of a room, allowing you to document the position of outlets, the position of computers. Again, we can calculate the length of the cable runs already in an early planning phase. And here is how the rack view looks like. So every unit of every rack is documented. We can put the passive cabling components inside. Of course, we can also say which units are occupied with active equipment, <coughs> what type of active equipment is there. The modeling is very fine, so we can see each and every port in the network, each and every fiber we can document, each and every slice we can document. And the pictures are color animated, so any network object can change colors based on its current state. So you see immediately a port which is occupied, a port which is empty, a port which has an error on it. You can see this visually in the traffic user interface. <coughs> We can do connectivity traces. We just click on one port network. Automatically, the database will calculate the end-to-end -end connectivity trace. A thing which is very difficult if you just have Excel sheets for documenting your uh, connections. You can do like risk analysis to see which customer runs through which cabinets. You can see what happens if you lose a cabinet. We can also create routes automatically. So we just select two endpoints in the network. And the data manager will propose us a set of patches to come, say, from the switch port to an outlet. And we can convert this set of patches in a set of work orders to have the job executed without having to go through each and every panel to see what we have to do to come from point A to point B. If you start from scratch, you do a planning in Intellify and you have the entire model from day one on the server. More often than not, you will be already having existing infrastructure, you will already be having existing documentation, and you don't want to redraw the entire network in Intellify just to get some documentation. So we provide the possibility to import like Excel tables of cables, of equipment, of racks. Import is in one go into the system and the model is automatically created based on information in these import files. Very important part of infrastructure management is being able to locate 
functions. So we have very powerful built-in report and search functions in the system. You can define searches within the graphic user interface. Say I want to see all ports of that RJ45, which are free. I want to know how many units I have in which rack. You can display these reports on the screen, for instance, and you can click on a line and you are automatically transported to the actual point in the network if you are searching for a report, for instance. You can also export these reports and send them to other uh, processing devices uh, or send them as regular reports uh, by email to, say, the network manager who wants to know every day how many space he has left in his network. These clips are read by the sensor bars. The sensor bars contain so-called RFID readers. And with this, we can detect the position and type of a cable in the network. Sensor bars and RFID clips don't work all out on their own. We have two more additional components which we need. One is an analyzer, that's what we see here, or other people call this scanner in the AIM world. And then we have a cabling system, <coughs> those who in front can see it here, small ribbon cable running from the analyzer to all sensor bars, exactly. In the network, using this cable, the analyzer can read what is written on the RFID tags. Um, additionally, we have LEDs on the sensor bars to signal individual ports. The analyzer can control these LEDs as well. The analyzer, we have two versions. One is this 1U version, which you put into a cabinet. If you are short of space, we also have a 0U version. Like with the Dean Ray Bounty Clip, which you can put somewhere aside in the cabinet, and you can use this one U for some cabling infrastructure or for some active equipment. One analyzer can power up to 42 units with sensor bars, so a fully equipped 42 unit rack. If you put 48 port panels, this gives you something like 2,000 ports. If you can handle the cabling coming from there, handled by a single analyzer. The cable can also be quite long, we can run up to 25 meters of cable from an analyzer easily, also covering several cabinets with a single analyzer. The really important part of Intelli5 is that it is retrofitable. The sensor bars, they fit on our HD panel. They also fit on this very new CAT 6A, 24-port panel. Each and every panel, this panel we have introduced like two years back in the market. Each of these panels are automatically intelligence retrofitable. You don't have to buy the intelligence from day one. You can start with normal cable infrastructure. You can retrofit at any point in time. You require intelligence. <coughs> Same is true for the cables. We are doing LC duplex cables here in Bulgaria with, what is it, 2,700 ends a shift, uh, 5,000 ends a day. They're all intelligence ready. We can retrofit them easily with intelligence. Same is true for our copper patch cards. We have Intellifi available for SC simplex connectors, E2000 and MPOs. And now here is the complete system view. We have covered all of the components, patch panels, which will fit them with sensor bars, the cabling running to the analyzer. Of course, you can have many analyzers in the installation, typically one for every one or two or three cabinets. So there is a concentrated function. This is basically a PC, which connects to all of the analyzers and it has one single combined link to the server informing the server about any changes in the network. And then we have these graphical clients, a uh, big one used for PC or Macintosh with reasonably big screens. 
And we have the small mobile client which is optimized from the display point of view for use on smartphones or tablets. And now to conclude the PowerPoint part of the Delify, here is a summary of the key advantages. Software-wise, easy to use, has a very full feature set. Competing products, you get a basic license and for each and every function you have to buy an additional license, additional module, driving up the total cost of the software to very high levels. We have all of our components already implemented in the server software, ready to use. We can do our own configuration such as for reports, for rules, for work orders, no need to rely on external software experts which do these customizations for you. You can all do it yourself. We have this cloud-based service version of the software where you don't even have to buy it, operate and maintain your own server. We have these interfaces, this easy integration using standard protocols to exchange information with other IT operating systems, multi-site and multi-user capabilities, and we can document the entire network from simple outlets on the wall all the way through an FTTX uh, construction splitters to an ODF and to the optical line termination in the central office. Hardware. System is retrofitable. We are the only ones in the market who can retrofit patchboards and panels. All other systems you have to buy intelligence from the day one. You have to decide to invent intelligence from the day one. Because it's retrofitable, it doesn't interfere with the actual user traffic, which translates in that we can give our very standard 25 year or lifetime warranty also on the cabling part of the 25 installations. If you have electronics in the panels, nobody will give you 25 year warranty. And chances that the electronics break down before 25 years are definitely there. And then you have to replace the panel, which can be very messy because if you're unlucky, you have to cut off all the cables, re-terminate on a new panel, you have to do a re-qualification of the link, which can be very time consuming and very costly. What we have is also the support for modularity. The HD panel as we have it here is a modular panel. You can have CAT 6A, you can have CAT 6, you can have fiber optics in different <coughs> versions. The same thing is always the same. You can even change the panel configuration, say move from a copper to a fiber configuration without doing anything to the sensing. The sensor bars are universal, the tags are universal, and the system recognizes what type of cable it is. All other systems have specific panels for copper, for fiber, even each and every connector type has a specific panel. 